fluid simulation isn't difficult. It just takes time, especially if you have a slow system. I have a RTX 3070 Ti graphics card and 12th Gen i7 with 16GB memory, so I was able to go through this tutorial without struggle. It was a lot of fun so I decided to share the process. Please subscribe if you like this video and let's get started. I've already made this water fountain. Nothing fancy, pretty basic, just simple easy meshes made with cubes and spheres. These three will work as collision effectors, and this cube will be our flow object. Let's go to Physics tab and enable Fluid property for our effector objects. Select the object and choose Fluid, then select Effector as the type. Collision is already selected so leave that alone. Let's do the same for the other two. Now select the cube inside the top bowl and choose Fluid, this time the type should be Flow. Select Liquid for Flow Type and choose Inflow as Flow Behavior. I forgot to check Planar for our effector, so let's go back and do that. The water will pass through the effectors if we don't because our effector meshes don't have enough thickness. It's time to create our domain. Add a cube and select fluid again, this time the type should be domain and domain type liquid. Let's try 64 for resolution divisions and change time scale to 0.5. We don't want the water to flow too fast. I'm going to display it as wire for now and adjust so that it covers our effectors. Don't make it any larger than you need. When you're done adjusting, set the origin point to geometry. We are basically done now, ready to test our simulation. It was pretty easy wasn't it? Go all the way down to cache and you can see that replay is selected for type. I'll check is resumable and hit spacebar to play. Let's change resolution divisions to 128. Try different settings for your project, but I suggest 128 or 256 for the final render. It's gotten slower, but you'll get a better picture of the final outcome. I'm gonna fast forward. It looks fine, so I'm gonna start the baking process. You can choose all and bake all at the same time or you can choose modular and bake the liquid and mesh data separately. Because we checked resumable we can always hit the escape key to pause the baking, then click the resume button when we're ready to continue. Baking is done successfully.
Let's bake the mesh now. Check on mesh, then press bake mesh. Also check use speed vectors. Change back to display as solid and right click to shade smooth. Last thing we need to do is add a material to our water. Go to shading workspace, click new and delete principled BSDF. Shift A to add a glass BSDF and enter 1.33 for IOR value. I have the render engine set to cycles. Make sure your flow objects show in renders is unchecked under visibility and you're all set to go. I hope you enjoyed this fluid simulation as much as I did. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you find this video helpful.